Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would just do a little update on when all the pre-orders are going to arrive. And by pre-orders, I mean anyone that may have ordered the Black Friday handbag, the Beatrice Mariano handbag, the Mahafsoon handbag, the Mahafsoon wallet, the Goblin Queen handbag, and last but not least, the version 2 Black Friday clutch. So firstly, I wanted to thank each and every one of you that have actually pre-ordered. I know some of you have been waiting as early as January or February this year. So a huge thank you from me and the girls that I'm working with for believing in what we're doing and sitting tight until the products actually arrive. If you have pre-ordered something from me you would have recently received the email that I sent out asking everyone to confirm their addresses and letting you know that I am expecting the shipment on or around December 3rd. Fingers crossed, can't actually cross my fingers with my claws, but it should be possibly a week earlier. I don't want to jinx myself because I always tend to do that. But they are not far off, so I thought I would just run through all the bags that are actually coming again very quickly. And also ask anyone that has ordered any of the aforementioned bags that I'm speaking about to contact me and just confirm your address. So, December 3rd is still like 4 or 5 weeks away, so what I'm going to do is get all the paperwork done so I can literally ship the bags out as soon as they arrive. Obviously I need to quality check them all with my assistant, but the idea is that all the paperwork that takes me a super long time to do, and might delay your shipment by a week or two because there's hundreds of bags to ship out, I will get that done so you guys don't have to wait any longer and fingers crossed you all get them all by Christmas, which would be lovely. Once the shipment actually arrives and your parcel is on its way, you will receive an email and that will finally have the tracking number so you guys can keep an eye on it you will get a notification from my store once it reaches your country if you're international once it's out for delivery and finally once it has been delivered so keep an eye out for that I'm trying to keep this video as brief as possible because it's just a little update for you guys but I did want to show you all the bags that are during stock December 3rd so here I have my production sample of the Black Friday handbag. The only thing that's different in this one to the one that I'm actually using day to day is the placement of the strap attachment. So um, we had to change that last minute for the better. Now I can literally say it is perfect. For those of you that haven't seen the interior in this one. Look at that red. Just look at it. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Apparently one of the delays with um, the order was due to this bag that they had to order like 20,000 spikes or something like that and they're all stainless steel so they won't rust but some of them were tarnished um, and they ordered literally everything that the spike manufacturer had at the time and then when they found some that weren't um, good enough to put on my bags they had to order some more and you know three four week delay Blah. this bag will sell out once it arrives in stock I think I've already sold 240 we only had 400 made and only a hundred are made without the sigil and I think we've already sold 70 so there's only 30 left with the no sigil so please get in and pre-order this one ASAP so you don't miss out also arriving early December is the lovely Mahafsoon handbag these are also more than half sold out so please get in quick you can also grab yourself the matching wallet this will have the matching vampire ankh so just imagine what it will look like with it on there this was the first production sample that we had made so it didn't actually have that symbol on it and then Mahafsoon and I actually ran a little poll on our Instagram accounts to ask you if you would prefer having that symbol on here too and all of you said yes and this one has faux leather but black velvet on the inside as well it's really lovely these are also more than half sold out I am finding that most people are buying the set so we're pretty even on the score um, in regards to what's left for these ones Whew, it's hot today my version 2 Black Friday clutch so the difference between this and the first one is obviously the spikes this one doesn't have spikes but the width so you can see it's nearly twice the width so you can fit a lot more crap in it and it doesn't have that middle compartment it is just completely open i find it a little more practical than the other one like as practical as clutches can be because they're supposed to be small bags <laughs> now i do have something very special to announce and i won't be listing these until they actually arrive in stock my manufacturer had to remake some of the clutches with the spikes because there was just some issues with a few anyway I will be getting 17 of the version 2 Black Friday clutches but with spikes on top. So think of this as like version 3. <laughs> They're going to be very special so I'm going to keep one for myself so there will be 16 up for grabs at my website very soon so keep an eye out for that. Oh, It's going to be beautiful. This is still probably one of my favorite bags that I've designed to date. It just, it speaks to me on such a deep level. And it's just, it's got so much metal on it. It's hardcore. So this was designed for Beatrice Mariano. There's only 50 of these in existence. 
and these are more than half sold. I doubt these will be getting made again because they were so expensive for me. The Metal Star, yeah that's metal people. Metal was so expensive and the spikes on the bottom, it literally sits on the spikes. Can you see that? So you can be out and you can sit your bag on the table. It looks so cool. That one's just empty inside. It's black velvet. It's so black it actually steals your soul every time you open it. So it's been really hard for me to photograph the inside of that. It's so freaking adorable. Every time I look at this bag, I have one of those moments where I'm like, damn, did I do that? <laughs> like, yes, I did. <laughs> like a little two-year-old. Okay, the last one to be included in this massive shipment is the Goblin Queen bag. This is just divine. The wallet is sold out. This is sold out as well, unfortunately. And rightfully so, it is just a beautiful bag. It is so sturdy. It is incredibly spacious because Alison wanted to be able to fit books in there. It has a mirror. Second to the Black Friday handbag, this is the biggest bag that I've done. You can fit an absolute bucket load of stuff in there. But this one, the Beatrice Mariano one, the Black Friday one, and probably the Mahapsoon one. I haven't tried it on the Mahapsoon one though. You can um, wrap the chain around like I did in the Beatrice one that I just showed you to make it shorter and wear it under the arm, which looks super adorable. All right, while we're giving updates, let's speak about the Esme LA Mort bag that recently sold out. I literally just did the video on its launch and then it came in stock and boom they sold out. So this was available in silver and gold and the inside of it is baby pink. It's the most softest wool, it is gorgeous. It's got some awesome embroidery on the front there saying Esme L.A. Mort by Evelina Damore and the Wiccan goddess symbol with a nice little pentagram on the inside. So I have some exciting news that I am just about to launch this baby on my website with a deep blood red interior. Ah. This will be extremely limited and probably only in silver. DM me if you do want it in gold, I can make that happen, no problem. But if you absolutely love this bag as much as I do... Oh gosh... This is probably one of my second favorite bags. By the time this video is on, you will be able to pre-order the red version. I will mention that that bag is made by a different manufacturer, which means I can order it sooner. So I only need about 10 pre-orders for that, and then I'll go ahead and have the order made. So the wait will be much, much, much shorter <laughs> than all of my other stuff. Okay, a quick little update on these two beauties. So this being the men's Black Friday wallet and the ladies' Black Friday wallet. So batch two was released. I think it was very early May. They literally sold out. They literally sold out when batch one arrived at the end of April and we've been taking pre-orders for batch two ever since. This was released possibly in July, I can't exactly remember. Anyway, the, the good news is as of about two weeks ago we received enough pre-orders for both of these bad boys to go into manufacturing. The ETA that my manufacturer has given me for the completion of these two items is around December, possibly January. These two items won't be shipped by sea, they will be on plane so it'll be a lot quicker for me to get them. I will keep you updated on their arrival and thank you so much if you have pre-ordered either of these two. Whew, it is only spring here in Australia but I am melting today. Probably the wrong choice of outfit for today's video. I'm sorry if I appear a little rushed. I have a lot to do today but I really wanted to get through this as quickly as possible and just get you the information that you needed. <laughs> I hope some of you might be noticing a little change on my Instagram. I've decided to go more kind of black and white and I have been changing it up a little bit with my photography. I bought some new lighting, some new lenses. So just let me know if you've noticed a difference, if you like that change. Going a little bit more fashion orientated. I have so much clothing, it feels like the right thing to do. I'm also going to be selling some items from my closet because I just, I still have things with the tags on it. So I thought I'll shoot with it so I can literally say I bought it for some reason. <laughs> I will shoot a nice photo and then I will pop it up on my website. If you're not already following me on Instagram, please head on over to my account and give me a follow as that will be the first place that I list these items. Okay, well I feel like my face is literally melting off. I've got to go do some other stuff. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button. Remember to press that little alarm bell so you get notified when my videos are on. And let's get to 12,000 subscribers. Bye.